Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we will learn K nearest neighbor, that is KN. It is one of the most famous classification algorithms and we are going to learn it theoretically as well as we are also going to learn how to build a model for KN. It is one of the most easiest and most frequently used like SVM. In fact, it is easier than SVM. KN is also based on supervised algorithms. It's a very simple approach based on the similarity of what is already available in hand you will get the new thing classified accordingly. So I'm getting a new data entry. The data entry will be now compared with the available data for similarity. Wherever it has more similarity, it will be grouped there. The new data can be classified with ease into a most similar category with the KNN in place. It's a very simple approach. I am getting a fruit. The fruit is looking like apple mostly and I've got mangoes and oranges also available. So now I will group this new fruit into apple because it is more similar to apple. That's it is KNN's approach and we are going to learn it mathematically as well. Now, we have got two very important aspects of KNN that we need to understand. One, it is referred as non-parametric. Second, it is a lazy learner algorithm. What is non-parametric? Very simple, this particular algorithm does not make any assumption on the data. No assumptions here and hence it is called as non-parametric. Second, what is laziness? This algorithm is a lazy learner algorithm. Means there is no training phase separately available or no specialized training phase available. And this algorithm uses all the data for training while the classification has happened. Very simple. This algorithm is lazy because there is no specialized training phase. Now, what is K? What is NN? K is nothing but the number of nearest neighbors. K is the king. Remember, we are going to vary only the values for k. The k will be 1, 3, 5, 7, something like this. Now, when you have even number of, when you have two classes, for example, the classes are even, you will normally have k as odd. If you have classes as even, for example, class A and class B alone are there, which makes it even, I will have k as 1, 3, 5, 7, and it should be odd. And remember, when k is 1, it is the nearest neighbor algorithm and it is the easiest nearest neighbor algorithm that we can say. But it will not give you a perfect result. Now, what are all the steps that are involved in calculating or building a model with respect to KN? The first step is to select the number K for the neighbor. How do we select K? That is a separate topic which we are going to talk about once we are into the process of building the model. First step is to select the number K of the neighbors. Second step, we need to calculate the equilibrium distance of k number of neighbors. How do we do it? When I show you an example, you will understand what is it all about. Now, third step, take the k nearest neighbors as per uh, calculated equilibrium distance. Now, I need to identify who are all the nearest neighbors for me to go to the next step. Now, I have identified the number of nearest neighbors for the taken k. I will have to now find out which category has got more numbers. Category A has got 5, category A, B has got 3, category C has got only 2. So which is more? A is more. So in that case, I will take category A as the one to which the new entrant or the new data entry should be grouped. That's it. Once this assignment happens, the model is all ready and we can develop it. Now, this could uh, seem a little difficult for you to understand. So I'm going to take an example as usual and this example will help you things better. Now see that. I have got uh, seven or eight uh, uh, red stars and similarly, I've got green triangles. The red stars are grouped as class A, the green triangles are grouped as class B. Now, the problem statement is simple. I have got a new data entry here and this data has to be classified as it belongs to red star or green triangle. So we will use KNN for it. The first approach, K is taken as one. So no doubt, this is the closest one. I'll circle it and that's all finish this is the identification now this new entry will be classified without much confusion as a red star so it comes to class a but we have not even considered the rest of the data points and the entries here so this is a bad approach so do not go with k value as one this is the simplest of the nearest neighbor algorithm and do not take this this will not give you right results now let's make k equal to three now when k is made three we need to calculate the equilibrium distance the equilibrium distance calculation and all taken care of, are all taken care of by uh, your Python and available libraries there. So there is no much confusion for you. 
once the equilibrium distance that is nothing but the distance between two points is calculated it's all done now you see here this is the point that we are worried about to which class does it belongs to does it belong to now you can see that i have circled it with k equal to 3 after the equilibrium distance calculation now how many green triangles are there i got two green triangles i got one red triangle so which is higher green or red obviously the green triangles are higher than the number of red stars so this will now belong to the green triangle category which means it goes to b category naturally that's it this is how the assignment happens now let's make k equal to 7 when k is made 7 after that we calculate the equilibrium distance and based on that we will get into this and we get it 4 plus 3 7 is there now which is more red stars are more and this one is only 3 so k equal to 7 remember it so 4 is more than 3 so this gets assigned to the group here which means we get the input data classified as a red star and that is it it is very simple now please make a note of one very important point you cannot keep the k value so low if you keep the k value as 1 for instance it is going to give you a lot of errors and that might not be really accurate now coming to the advantages of this approach it is very simple more the data better the accuracy the disadvantages would be is to select the k value actually in the screen i have made it advantage it has to be disadvantage the k value has to be selected appropriately and that is a challenge now what are we going to do we are going to develop a model what is the model very simple we have already done it for spm we have done it for linear regression so i am going to use the same approach we are going to build a system which can classify the new entry data clearly using uh, knn algorithm that's it now what is the first step the first step is to import all the necessary modules and that's what i am doing k near uh, neighbors classifier is imported train underscore test underscore split is imported load underscore iris this is nothing but the data set that i have imported from sklearn data sets this is an i related data set which has got multiple entries and features over there now i am loading it into the iris data and once i do it my work is over with respect to the data loading part now the data is loaded but as usual as i tell you regularly we need to visualize and explore how the data looks like so we are printing the features for the assumed data set we are printing the labels for the considered data set now the features are sepal length sepal width petal length and petal width and the labels are setosa versicolor and virginica what is it i will show you all those in the original data that i'm going to show you right now and these are all nothing but the labels and the features that are available there now what is the next step i'm going to show you how exactly the parameters can be displayed and this code is already explained to you till this level and print iris data dot data dot shape will get you the numbers and we are printing the first 30 entries in the data for us to in the data set for us to visualize it now see that the features are sepal length sepal width petal length petal width labels are setosa versicolor and virginica 150 entries are there and four columns are there and that's what is mentioned here clearly and i'm going to show you the output for this and also i'm going to open the data set that i have downloaded from the website for you to understand things better we have imported all the modules i am loading the data uh, set into iris data in this step right now and i am printing all of them to understand and to explore contents well i am getting the shapes and i am printing the first 30 entries in the data set you can see that 154 is nothing but the number of entries over there features are displayed labels are displayed and once it is all done we will open the original data set that is a csv file which is available to see how exactly it looks like and what are all the fields over there i am opening it right now and once you open it you can see that the last column is what is the labels setosa versicolor and virginica and the first four are nothing but the values that we have considered as features 5.7 2.3 4.8 1.8 8, something all these are nothing but the uh, sepal length sepal width petal length and petal width that's it so very simple thing that we have done now the next step is going to be important for us to understand because we need to go with uh, understanding and uh, to assign the value assign the data set as a training data set and testing data set and we need to call the appropriate classifier stuff then we need to fit it so what is the first step here in this i need to first create the x and y which is nothing but the feature and the target arrays so i have created it now as usual i am splitting it as a training data set and testing data set 0.2 means 80% goes for training 20% comes for testing the seed value is set as 120 and knn is equal to 
k neighbors classifier i have already imported it so i'm using it and i'm setting the value as 5 here which means the k value is 5 then i'm calling the fit function with the x train and y train which i have already uh, done and this will get the fit done and the complete model is ready right now we need to calculate the accuracy as well how do we do it is very simple knn dot score of x test and y test gets you accuracy so for the taken value of 5 and for the taken value of uh, uh, random state as 120 with training and testing as 80 and 20 respectively i got the accuracy as 100 percent which is shown by 1.0 we will go with the uh, coding and the respective uh, demo right now so that you can understand this also very clearly and it is revealed the complete code is explained to you already so uh, this is where uh, i would like to go a little yeah this is where we are setting the uh, training and the testing stuff and now we are assigning and calling the k uh, k neighbors classifier appropriately with uh, k value assigned as 5 now we are fitting it properly then the accuracy is calculated so once it is run i get 1.0 now what we are going to do is we are going to change the values for k it can be 5 it can be 7 it can be 3 as i told you so i'm making it a 7 there is no difference in the accuracy the accuracy is still good so i'm going to make it 3 now let's see what what exactly happens there so i think this will also be accurate um 3 when you do that you get one again yeah now what are we going to do is we are going to play with the uh, values for the test and the training data set size so that's what I'm going to do right now. So we will change the test size as 0.4, which means 60% goes to the training and 40% comes to the testing. So you can see that the accuracy has come down. So this is how you need to play. Uh, trial and error always helps, and you can understand which is the best value for the model that you have developed. Uh, I hope the session was interesting. And if you have any suggestions, queries, please go ahead and type it in the comment section. If you have any uh, a particular topic to be taught in machine learning, let me know. I can try teaching it. And if you like the channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you, folks.